welcome to another game of the Dominion League. I'm playing with Jim. And on this part we have a chapel. We also have um, village and draw with no builds or courtyard and workers village or in plus by with workers village a quarry which is pretty nice with workers village around um, I'm not sure what you want to open here quarry seems okay uh, silver probably not that great um, I guess you want to get Horn of Plenties with an engine here. Maybe some merchant ships for payload. At least one to bump up the Horn of Plenty. You can play uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, well, eight cards easily with a gold or a silver. Uh, um, spiked in there. I guess you open quarry here, try to get them to a worker's village. You just have to be careful to not uh, end up without any economy other than quarry, but I guess you will be able to pick up a silver later. This seems like a turn for hmm. nobles. He was able to trash double estate, which is a bit better than what I'm doing, but at least I already got a nobles. Okay, I trashed three coppers. So I have just a nobles, a copper, an estate and a quarry left. I have to keep at least a copper here, unfortunately, but I, you gotta do what you have to do. Well, do I want to get a merchant ship or rather a worker's village? Seems alright to go for Horn of Plenty. He does it pretty soon with his five coppers. some economy and I need to be able to trash the coppers. Here I get a worker's village for sure and trash those two cards. Oh, okay, I can't get a worker's village now anymore. Uh, then I will do this next turn.
I will never get to five again if I don't get something going here. Some economy. Mm. Yeah, and here I buy a whole of plenty. Oh, I have to adjust the score. Um, I did start the first. So he treasures three coppers. I can play anything every anyway, right? What's on the bottom here? Um, the quarry. Oh, I need this for sure. Yeah, he does basically the same than me. Um, have to be a little careful for three pal endings then. Second quarry would have been nice, but I really didn't have the time to pick one up. in the hand getting some workers workers villages is pretty nice and pretty important I mean with the plus bias here
even maybe to get the Horn of Plenty up to eight. He should get points now, otherwise I can probably end it. Okay, he gets more horns. Can he end it? He has three horns, I believe. Or has he two, no only? He probably has only two, I have four. So getting only horns now is pretty ris risky. Gets a merchant ship. Don't think that's gonna happen a lot now. In and shuffles. Only the in into his deck, which is basically non-existent at the moment. All right. So I need to play the Haven to get one more card in without using an action. And well, now I I have to play uh, one, two, three, two, three. It doesn't matter. I only need one point. Um, so I need the money. Only four buys. I should have played court yet first, then draw the card again. To not have anything. on top of my deck. So how many actions do I have in play? Again, <laughs> one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. So I can only gain three provinces because I have to play this and then top take something. And I have to top take horns. But. Maybe that's still alright.
Let's see how much he can do here. Okay, he only has six, that's good for me at least. And he gets double province, triple province, and a duchy. So the bad thing is, I can't dump a province, uh, but he trashed also all of his horns. So he probably can't double province as well. I shouldn't have taken the in maybe and instead taken some money. Legacy to get province estate. Uh, no, he only needs a duchy yes. and end it. But he can't. It's pretty hard to end it for him. Um, so, how are my chances if I go province horn? Um, probably not that great. Guess I get a horn and buy a duchy. He can't double province without a horn, he has... Well, I had four horns, he had three, so he trashed all his three, and the most he can get to now is eight, I believe. So there's a single province. I think getting another courtyard here is alright. Increase my draw. I mean, I have actions left at the end. Okay. Not the best starting hand, but could be worse. Oh, he also has four merchant ships. Does he?
he has ten. Only four buys. I mean, yeah, anything he does loses if I get to draw well now. Another noble build, it's fine. Ooh, that's not so good. Thank God for this worker's village. Come on, deck. Nope. That wasn't any good. Uh, I still got a chance. <laughs> this is going very slowly, but I kind of get there. I need my inn now. Or two Fergus villages. Uh, No in, but what do I have in play? One merchant ship, Fergus village. Either one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Well, whatever I play, I get to eight, right? One, two, three. Okay, that's good. Well, I can play both anyway. Okay, this was harder than it probably should have been. starts this one. So he opened Ambassador with three coppers. Mm, we have on this board uh, Ambassador as an attack. Also remake for trashing. And Wandering Minstrel and Crossroads and Hamlet as villages. No draw other than crossroads. Well, or something like Prince saying uh, Minstrel. I really like the cycling of Minstrel in, in stuff like Ambassadors, Ambassador Ports. It, it's better than colliding Ambassadors. So I will do that. Harem Crossroads is also a thing. See if he opened he opened double ambassador or if he just played his three coppers one by one. Okay. 
Okay, he opens double ambassador. So let's hope his ambassadors collide. Oh, got mine. Um, is it better to buy nothing? I mean, I really want to get a second ambassador then. I think it's okay. Not the best, but you gotta take what you can. <laughs> oh, okay, my collide there. Here I definitely return two coppers. I mean, there were two cards to draw from the last shuffle and both of them were ambassadors. So that's a bit sad. He returns to his test to supply. Okay. Unfortunately they will once again collide. At least I get to return to his tets. cash. I mean it's a gold, but it requires you to work through. It makes the deck thicker. If he's planning to ambassadoring me those coppers, he got coppers that he should, should first think about ambassadoring. Um, Roads. Yeah, now I have to get to as thin as possible. Two minstrels to ambassador is a good starting point for that. Yeah, nice. Still have then three coppers left for silver. Here I will keep the coppers and buy at least the silver. I think it's better to workshop here. Or is it? Hmm. You can get a lot of minstrels that way, but it clocks you up a little. Oh, that was a fortunate draw for him with the crossroads. Then I want to get more minstrels. I want to, and I don't want to allow him to get all those minstrels. Crossroads without any estates in deck in the deck is not so good. Maybe I try to get it going with harems. Seems alright. Yeah. 
he buys nothing, returns two coppers, okay. I mean, once the minstrels are gone, I can even ambassador him the workshop, so it's not so bad. He really doesn't want to return any estates anymore, right? <laughs> uh, do I want to get a hamlet? Is that even good? At least one for potential plus bias. Decent, I guess. Expand is also fine. Now he gives me his tits. <laughs> okay. This game is pretty ugly. Gain this game to copper, so remaking into cash isn't that good of an idea. I don't want to workshop anymore, I guess. Uh. Also, I'm basically always skipping my silvers. Now I have a hand with some silvers at least.
Prinzinger Minstrel here is good. Maybe I should start to remake all the, my minstrels into stashies. Uh, doesn't sound that good. Getting more coppers. Oh, okay. Well, at this point, I can at least return them quite consistently. Seven and with seven, I can start to expand things. Expand is probably a pretty good card in my deck. The only thing I would really need are five cost cards. So
get to draw two cards. The dream. Um, let's see what I draw here first. I get to province. Um, yeah, at this point, ambassador isn't worth anything, I guess. Um, now, buying a harem would make me in be in the lead with the province I get here. Mm. Hmm. Quite likely to get to province again. Just need one more money. Now he gains his tates. Huh. Oh, this province is so good. Okay, he will probably province now as well, that's sad. I can expand my duchies into province or my harems into province, that's probably what I should do now. Oh, we can't province. Uh, lucky for me. Oh, let the clicking begin. Doesn't matter anyway. Drawing one harem would be nice. There were they were. Um, Pretty hard to draw those cards with nothing with all those minstrels. Um, don't think I need to buy. Whew, this hand. Uh, it's probably not that good. I would need expand now to win. Well, maybe I can get there. Maybe not. No, but I can still win with the plus buy. I forgot I had it. Oh man, what a nightmare, <laughs> this game. If there just has been, would have been any source of virtual money or something, any good payload card. Well, there was expand, but you don't get to expand that often. <laughs> again. We have shelters and rebuilt and rats. Um, it's 
say anything that beats Rebuild, honestly. to inherit engine, but then what do you use as payload? Coppersmith doesn't make any sense with heralds. The only trashing is rats, and the only draw is the herald engine. So now the question is, do you want a plaza for this rebuild thing to get coin tokens? Or do you play the boring big money style game. Maybe a chancellor is decent. Um, yeah, a chancellor could really speed you up if your rebels aren't gone. You may, right? You may. Well, I certainly do this on the second play then, to not give away the idea. So, will Chancellor Rebuild beat Silver Rebuild? That's the question. Ooh, here we go. Discard the deck. I also always like one gold in Rebuild, especially when you don't have the starting estates to buy duchies. <laughs> he gets the Chancellor. Uh, keep the estate going here. This will be a rebuild. There's the gold in there, so I don't discard it. Maybe I can get a second rebuild here. So I didn't skip the second rebuild. That means I don't want to discard this. That's sad that he drew double rebuild here. Is the squire any good? Or is another estate okay? I mean, the duchies are gone soon. Well, I guess I will. Just name a state always now. Let's hope he doesn't have a rebuild and doesn't hit duchy, and then I can duchy. And that's probably that's probably it, right?
Oh, come on. That's really sad. Um, hmm, my draws are fooling me. What's going on? And he gets again double rebuild. Well. Double rebuild Chancellor. Yeah, for him it's working. For me it isn't. Um, I skip two rebuilds so I discard the deck. Maybe the plazas help me to spike to a province at some point. Probably it's too late. Maybe the cash helps me. I mean that's probably what I need to get to at this point. Have any estates left? Oh man, then his rebuild thing did get really going. He can always name province. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, that's GG. Unless he does make a mistake. 